it's your girl, Tierra Cherise. It is your girl, well, Tierra Cherise. Hey, y'all, what's up? So you all know how to travel on a budget. <laughs> you came to the right place. Okay, because listen, sis has been to Vegas. I went to Vegas for a week last year. I went to Puerto Rico, honey. I've gone to, um, even traveling like inside of the United States, I've gone to like LA, New York, Texas. Of course, Georgia, South Carolina, Tennessee, uh, Nashville specifically. So I've been some places. So I have a, a, you know, I have some tips. Well, now that I can give to you, so that way you can like learn how to travel on a budget and know how to do it. Period. Okay. So first things first, let's hop right into it. Number one, <laughs> cause you know I'm gonna give you a list. Okay. Number one is buy your ticket well in advance. You should be buying your ticket, your flight, or wherever you're going weeks in advance and months depending on where you're going if you're going out of the country you need to buy your ticket months in advance okay let's think about money matter of fact we don't get into money later let's just focus on buying your ticket in advance it is so important to do that because you do not want to get to a point where like you've paid for the hotel you know where you stay like you know you know where you stand you know where you want to go what you want to do but you don't know how you get in there <laughs> That is the worst thing to do, okay? Let's let's do this in order, okay? So make sure that you're buying whatever buying whatever flight, train, car, you like gas, whatever you need. Make sure you're doing that ahead of time and um, putting that money aside so that way you can take care of your arrangements on how to get to the destination on where you're actually going, okay? Number two is make your itinerary, okay? Make your itinerary. Plan out what you want to do. Plan out how much it costs. If you want to eat breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner, you know, all three, four days or two days that you're there or a week or seven days, whatever it is, make sure that you're planning that out and you're pricing in how much this stuff costs. Like what you might want to eat, how much you think you like a range, have a price range from like if you think you're going to spend $50 a night on dinner, then that's something that you need to budget in. Um, drinks, people like to drink, so budget in that as well too. Um, you're able to look up places on, of course, TikTok and Instagram and even YouTube of places that people have gone. You can literally look up those places. You can look up their menu, look up their website, sit down and actually make a plan and look and look at how much it costs. That way you know what you're going to be spending or at least have like a, you know, a range of what you're going to be spending. Okay. So make sure that you're planning that out. Make your itinerary. And also making an itinerary helps the trip. It's like, okay, it's not like, okay, what are we going to do next? And then you're spending time trying to figure out what you're going to do next. Also come with backups. Okay. So if this don't work out or if something is booked up, you got a backup already. Have two, three backups. Cause you just never know. Okay. You never know. But yes, Number two is make your itinerary, okay, and price everything, everything. Number three is not that you've made your itinerary, you, you know, planned out or you planned out what you, how you going to get there and how much that'll cost. Listen, you need to make sure that, okay, let's say you make $10 an hour at your job or $15 an hour at your job or even $20 an hour at your job, right? You should always always be looking for better paying jobs and and better opportunities you should always be doing that like even if you love your job you love your job and they don't pay enough guess what you got you got to live you got to travel you got to experience life baby so that means you need to be looking for more opportunities so while you're planning this trip Guess what you need to be doing? Also, applying for better paying jobs, okay? That is an important tip because let's say you make $10 an hour, right? But you have your college degree and you have, you know, some experience in customer service. You could potentially be working from home or, or be working at a company that will allow you to make $23, $25 an hour. Hear me? dollars an hour to work and it's like dang I like my job but it's like I'm trying to go travel I'm trying to have my hair done I'm trying to feel good about myself I'm trying to make more opportunities and space for me to grow right 
Right. So you should always be looking for opportunities to level up um, and and just make make more money. Like, cause what like what are you doing? Rent is high. <laughs> rent, is, rent is high. Okay, do you hear me? Rent is high. Food is high. Groceries is high. Yogi's hair appointments is high. <laughs> So you should always be looking for better opportunities, okay? Um, I mean, unless you're at a job where you're like, I don't really care about the money because I get, you know, I get paid pretty good already. Like, you know, I'm chilling. I like this. Okay, cool. But baby, you should always be looking for better opportunities because that will allow you to travel more. Specifically, what we're talking about, we're talking about traveling. So that will allow you to travel more and also put more money into your hair, your nails, your shoes, the outfits, ooh, the food, the excursions. The experiences. I want to ride an elephant. Okay, that's next on the list. <laughs> okay, y'all, number four. Now that you made your itinerary, now that you've, you know, planned out how you're going to get there and what it's going to cost, now that you, you know, start looking for more jobs and, you know, hopefully you get something. If you don't, okay, cool. You're sticking with your budget. That's what we're going to talk about next. We're going to talk about your budget. Look at how much everything costs, right? And then you plan off of that. And I'm not saying go down in your budget. I'm not saying break it down. I mean, unless it's something that you want to do soon. If you want to do it soon, you might have to take some stuff off. But I'm talking about, like, I'm giving you tips on how to be able to travel and do all the things that you want to do. Okay? We're not breaking down the budget because we, we want to experience stuff. Okay? We, we, we're not breaking down the budget. <laughs> Sir, get over there. You chewing on your bone. Child, he be wanting to be in the in the video, okay? Okay, but yes, yeah, so we're talking about budget now. So now that you, let's say it costs, I'm just going to use a, a, a easy, something easy. Let's say it costs, a, let's say it costs $1,500 for your trip, right? That's including hotel, um, all the food, and just everything, right? Everything. If it costs $1,500, you need to be looking at, okay, if I want to go to, let's use the place, let's use Atlanta. If I want to go to Atlanta for two days, right? And the reason why I'm using like, like two days and I'm using small balances is because when you have bigger balances, you can do more. I'm really dedicating this video to the people that work, you know, $10 an hour, $9 an hour, minimum wage, you know? Um, some minimum wage places, of course, it's 15 but other places like in the South, it's still it's still seven seven dollars, something like that. Seven twenty five, something. Like, it's ridiculous <laughs> for rent to be three hundred thousand. For rent to be three hundred thousand dollars, it's ridiculous, right? So yeah, I'm dedicating this video to you know to the people that you know we here. I got you. Don't even worry about it. We know we at. Okay, yeah, and, and you are gonna get there. Okay, you are gonna get there to where you can be. Let's say you want to go to Atlanta for two days, right? And yo. Everything that you budgeted out came to $1,500. Boom. Okay? Let's say you want to go to Atlanta in the summer, right? You need to write out how much you make, what your bills are, if you have any bills, and then write out, like, how much you want to save towards that, like, how much you need to save towards that budget to be able to go and enjoy yourself and have a great time and live. Ah. Oh! Oh, be able to live, you know what I mean? Like, not just, you know, all the time. Be able to actually, uh, like, uh, be in the moment, be present, and just live and be happy. Oh! You need to write down how much you need to save and literally put that in a pot. If you do not trust yourself with your pot, I am one of those people. I don't trust myself with my pot. Right now, I'm not, I'm just, mm -mm. I'm not a place where I trust myself with my own pot. Either find somebody that you can trust or you can open up another account and put that account in there and rip up the credit card. That way, every time that you need to get money out of that account, you have to go to the bank. <laughs> you have to go to the bank. And it should be one of the farthest banks <laughs> way out yonder. Okay, no, for real. So you so you put money on that account and um you put let's say you put fifty dollars on that account every month, right? To go towards your trip. Let's say it's November and you put money on your account to be able to go to Atlanta in July, in the middle of July, and enjoy yourself with your girlfriends. Um yeah. 
that way you adding up to that 1500 that way when you get there you can be able to you know go to the clubs and go out to eat and let's be clear i don't think you're gonna spend 1500 dollars in atlanta you're gonna need a little more than that <laughs> but if it's only for two days remember if it's only for two days fifteen hundred dollars can get you that you know it all depends on who you're going with, too. Okay, well, Atlanta's a, uh, Atlanta's a whole nother ball game, but you know what I'm talking about. So put that money aside for um, for that trip and make sure that you're planning it out. That's really all it is. And then, of course, my last tip, number five, is to plan ahead. I'm talking about outfits. How you want your makeup to look? How you how you want your hair to look? Book your hair appointment the week of the trip in advance. If they allow you to book it two three months in advance, do it. If they allow you to, why your hair on my lip, huh? If they allow you to do it, you know, a couple weeks in advance, which they normally do, book it in advance. Put that money aside in your jar. For your hair, your nails, and and you don't have to get the long nails all the time. Get the short whiteies for the trip and keep it pushing, sis. You still gonna look good. You know what I'm saying? If you need to come down on some stuff, like you're still gonna look good if you decide to budget. If you decide not to wear no nails and bring press-ons, because they're on Amazon for what? $20? A whole pack of them. Every color you could think of. If you want to do that for the trip for just for two days, that's great. You come back and you move like that. But that, those are my tips for being able to travel on a budget and be able to actually like step out of what you're used to and live, y'all. Live! <laughs> Life is too short to be stuck and unhappy and get yourself out of that. If you have money issues, if you have children, if you have, you know, pets that you don't want to get rid of <laughs> and money is an issue, you need to be finding ways to make more money. You should always be finding ways to make more money because it allows you more freedom. Okay? I don't care how good that job you think you think that job pays you. You should still be looking into more better opportunities. Always look. I'm not saying quit that job and just be like, oh, I'm gonna find me something else. No, keep working that job until you get into that next job, right? Go part-time on the on the on the other job until you start really going full-time on the job that pay a little more, and then be like, hey y'all, I'm putting in my two weeks. That way you got two checks coming in at once. You're going to be a little tired, but you're going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? It's only for two weeks. And also, you're making more money so that way you can be able to what? Have more freedom and live. All right, I'm done. That's my tips for today. I'm trying to get these last two nails off. Do not make fun of me, okay? I'm trying to get these, they won't come off. I have a show this, this weekend, and they just, I'm trying to, I'm about to put my short whiteies on. They just won't come off. So don't make fun of me. But I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs> I love y'all. Remember to always do what makes you happy. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>